Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Just gonna go through the changes this week. Um, I'm gonna use my last boost. I'm gonna be down to 21 trades left. But there's a really good excuse to do this. So, um, just hear me out. Gimby, I'm gonna downgrade to Roberts. Robert looks like he's gonna create some cash. He had a good week with 93. His break even's gonna start going low and then he's gonna make some cash. Um, that will allow me to upgrade Constable. I mean, Constable, if he gets named, I might change my mind about this. But now I've gone Constable to Jones, which scored 116 and scored 90 something. So he's been quite consistent, Jones, in the Adelaide team in the defense line. And the other one, the last one was McKenzie. So McKenzie to Williams. McKenzie, because he was subbed and now his break even is like 80 something. So it's going to be a high chance he's not going to make it. Um, this this allows me to bank a little bit of coin, so I'm going to have like about 200,000. Plus, I'm going to make coin from Jones. I'm going to make coin from uh, Williams. I'm going to make coin from Robert. So, um, with the with the season so far, making it so hard to make money. Like after you, people have got Chandler and all that stuff. Once once these guys start drawing up, it's going to be a lot harder to find cash. And I think these three guys, I think Jones is going to get me points and cash as well. So that's definitely a bonus. Um, and then hopefully they just be able to upgrade them to like a Sicily or some a Sinclair. There's some of these options here that I'm looking at. I'm not gonna swing Zebul and Sheasel. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna swing them down the, in the back line. And because of the fact that um these guys are only averaging 100, uh, 111. Um but if you have actually look, Ryan is actually averaging probably more than what Zebul is. So some of these guys in the defense line are scoring a lot better than these forward guys. Um, we still want Cameron and maybe Cognelia. So there ain't the only reason why we might swing them around is just to get these guys in. But um, at the moment, we want Cicely, Sinclair. These players, whoever's probably cheapest at this rate, so Sinclair, Cicely, uh, who else is there? That's a viable option. There'll be... There's someone else I'm missing as well. Um, Ryan. It, Ryan's another one as well. Those three I'd be very happy with. Um, there's even Wally you could probably go with as well. Uh, Lloyd. Lloyd looks like from Swans. He's pretty cheap at the moment. So he's someone we could probably look to upgrade Jones with um, if Lloyd doesn't go up in value too much more because he's been consistently around 100 to 120. Um, definitely someone we wouldn't mind for M5 even. But then Ryan and... Uh, yeah, because really we think it's going to be, oh, sorry, D6. Uh, because we think Rioli is going to be D6, which means Lloyd could be D5, Sicily D4, and then D3, probably Stuart maybe, someone like Stuart, Orion. Um, it's sort of, it's sort of give you an idea what I'm thinking of. So you've got Dawson, Dacos, that's one and two. Probably Stuart three, and then you got like a Sicily, Lloyd, and then Rioli, and that'll be the defense line. So something like that. But we'll just have to see who we can afford and who's going to be dropping down in price as well. Um, who's going to be worth actually digging deep in the pockets and trying to get that cash. Um, in the midfield, I want to get Oliver. Um, maybe it's not going to work out, but um, because Oliver's actually going to. He saved himself from our team. He actually scored a bit extra. So, um, who knows? I think he's he's gonna go up in some value. So, and for oh, actually, he's gonna be over, overpriced now. So, probably not worth it for us to get him in just yet. But Oliver's a target. But Laird is definitely close to being picked because he's starting to show some form now after being like. Very low in scoring. Now he's got 135. I think he turned up twice in a row now, so he's bouncing back. Can't forget about Jack Steele when he comes back as well. Uh, it could be someone else as well that we're missing. Uh, who else would they? You could possibly argue on merit. Um, Lockie Neal. Lockie Neal is one. So Lockie Neal. So Lockie Neal, Oliver, I'd really love in the midfield. And we could possibly go with merit. Who else could we go? There's there's Quite a few other players that we could look at. Um, who's averaging higher? Hold on. Yeah, Oliver, Uniaki, no. Oh, we could still go him. But, yeah, Neil, probably go Laird. Or Took Miller as well. Libertory if you have to, but 
Yeah, it's just to give you an idea. So, yeah, Laird, Oliver, Neil. If if we've got the if we've got what we want, that is. And then with our F six as well, we go not F six, but probably more like F one. Uh, Jeremy Cameron looks like he's going to be he's averaging like one hundred and fifteen or something like that. Um, we could possibly look at getting a Hawkins, but I don't think he's going to be consistent. But Jeremy Cameron is very consistent at the moment. But he is quite old. So the problem with that is he might be willing to get injured. So I'm not, he's, he won't be willing to get injured. He's just got a higher chance of getting injured. So that'd be the reason why we probably wait. That's one reason not to get him. Uh, Cognelio is someone who's going to get, we're going to get good value with. Um, he did turn up uh, last weekend as well. So um, he could be someone that we could get good value with. So, and the forward line hasn't averaged as much, apart from Jeremy Cameron, who's a huge risk because of injuries. And um, because we're high, because we get low trades, actually, um, we need to be a bit safer with who we get in now. So I, I think Jeremy Cameron's a bit of a risk. He's pretty solid, though. He, I think the rumor was he busted ribs and he still bloody played um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, but it could be, that could be a lie, too. But we did get told that. Um... But yeah, just Cognelia is going to be cheaper. Um, in the rack, we're sort of happy with Marshall and Darcy for now, but if they consistently get this. Um, but we could possibly do a straight swap from Marshall to Gorn. It really depends what these guys are capable of, if they consistently keep going um, with what they're scoring. And Gorn drops down a lot of price. Uh, English is one that slipped but we can't get absolutely everyone we want we just have to try and get as close as possible to everyone that we want anyway guys thanks for watching we're going for cash this week and then next week probably nothing we're just going to sit tight and watch uh all these players get up in value and then try and we're going to try and uh um just try to get a full team thanks guys i'll see you later